Hello and welcome to episode 33 of my Working with Todoist project. In this, in this episode, I want to show you how you can create a weak view filter. Now, I saw this in some blog post or I saw this in some question on the Todoist blog and I'll put a link to that in the notes section of this video because uh, the Todoist blog is full of excellent resources that uh, will help you with your productivity. But I saw this uh, as a question in uh, one of the blog posts that I was reading this week and it made me think that yeah there are occasions where uh, you may want to just create a filter for when you're doing your weekly review where you can see the, the tasks that you need to complete for the working week. So that would be Monday to Friday and excluding the weekend. Now I'm sure there's many other different ways that you can do this but for me I like to keep my filters as logical and as simple as possible. So to, do, to set this up all you need to do is go into your filters which is on the left hand side and click on add new filter. I'm going to name this uh, week planning uh, which is how I would use this and all you need to do is now here's a quick tip for you always add in overdue now the reason you would do this is if you had a very important task to complete on Saturday or you had a very com important task to complete on Sunday if you don't put in overdue this is not going to be showing in this filter and I find that um, sometimes particularly on a weekend I, I relax my dedication if you like to Todoist and do allow myself to have some time off and so when I come to my computer on a Sunday morning to catch up with all my tasks and to do my weekly admin uh, I will have quite a few overdue tasks so I would always start off with overdue and then comma and then just simply man chu when the fry and add the filter now what you'll see is this filter now only shows me tasks for tomorrow which would in this case would be Monday uh, it shows me tasks for Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday but there's no weekend tasks and for some people and including me actually because I didn't think about this uh, filter uh, until I saw it in the blog post uh, that um, when it comes to doing my weekly review having a view where I can see all the tasks that I have I can see my busy days for example I know Thursday is a busy day incidentally tomorrow is looking busy that's simply because my uh, regular repeating tasks have now moved over to Monday because I've already completed many of them for today but Tuesday is looking reasonably quiet uh, Wednesday is looking very quiet at the moment and Thursday's busy, Friday's looking quite busy too. So when it comes to doing my week review and I want to add in tasks or I want to catch up with some project work that I need to work on, I can see which days are going to be less busy. Now, to be honest, when I'm doing my weekly review, um, I would also have open my um, Fantastical application, which allows me to have... Um, so if you look at my Fantastical, I can see that here. And I can also now look at my uh, appointments for that day and see which days are busy. So as you can see, Thursday is actually very busy. I've also got a lot, lot of tasks to do on Thursday. That means when I'm doing my week review, I can actually start moving around some of my Thursday tasks and think, well, OK, like review 2016 plan, that's probably going to be best done um, on maybe Saturday. So I can move this forward to Saturday, which takes out one. Uh, the prepare the mail booking sheet, I, can't, I have to do that every Thursday. Send out early bird FTs Thursday. Confirm AM classes, prepare early bird file, and so on. So these things here are, are non-negotiable. These are weekly recurring tasks that I have to do on a Thursday. But at least I've managed to have a look and I can see what can be removed and uh, made very simple. So there you go. This is the filter. It's a week planning filter, I call it. Um, uh, very, very useful. All it is is overdue, uh, comma, Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, Wednesday, comma, Thursday, comma, Friday. That's it. Very, very simple. 
uh, but really, really useful for when you're doing your weekly review. And you can see what tasks you will need to complete uh, and also manage to see which days are going to be very busy and so on. But I would always recommend that you have your calendar open at the same time so you can cross-reference between the days, days that you have lots of appointments or if you're on a business trip or you're out of the office, you know that you can move things around and see uh, how best to manage your week. There you go. I hope that's a really useful tip for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to get the latest videos and if you have any questions or you'd like to cut me to cover anything in Todoist, please leave a note in the comment section and I will get round to covering uh, the video or doing a video for you uh, on that one. So until next time, have a very productive week and talk to you again soon.